Kia ora, I'm David Chastain with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is we get everything you need to know at 96 at 9 o'clock, with news progress towards lower inflation is underway, but the road is bumpy. But first up today, we should note that American mortgage application levels decreased again last week. Their mortgage rates moved lower again last week, but that did little to ignite overall mortgage application activity, which is now down 13% below the week year ago levels. Their overall economy may be in a broad-based and resilient expansion, but this does not include their housing market. American employment levels are rising. Private businesses in the US hired an extra 184,000 workers in March, following an upwardly revised 155,000 in February, and beating forecasts of 148,000. This is the biggest increase in hiring in eight months, with employment especially strong in services. In this ADP survey, pay was up 5.1%. The US non-farm payrolls are out on Saturday New Zealand time for March, and they are expected to show a 200,000 job increase. So it might have been a surprise to see that their ISM services PMI for March eased off a little, even if new order levels expanded strongly. But nothing here signals imminent recession, but clearly inflation is not beaten. And Fed boss Powell spoke early today, but kept to his recent script, saying a rate cut may come later this year. But they are watching the recent firmer inflation data, even if they expect it will ease back soon. A colleague suggested the first cut there won't come until the fourth quarter of 2024. In China, new order levels boosted its Kaijin services PMI in March. The expansion isn't swift, but it is better than a contraction. It was their 15th straight month of growth in services activity, with new business rising to its fastest pace in the year so far. In Europe, inflation levels fell more than expected, getting closer to the ECB target. It declined to 2.4% in March, matching November's 28-month low, and that was lower than market expectations of 2.6%. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 4.36% and unchanged from yesterday, but the price of gold will start today firmer by $34 at $2,293 an ounce and a new all-time high. And oil prices have risen a dollar to just under $85.50 a barrel in the US, while the international bread price now just under $89.50 a barrel. These are new five-month highs. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at just on 60.1 US cents and a half a cent firmer than this time yesterday. Against the Aussie, though, with little change at 91.5 Australian cents, against the euro, we're still holding at 55.4 euro cents. That all means our trade weight index starts today at just on 69.2 and up 20 basis points from this time yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again 